Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be talking about the basics of oxygen acetylene cutting. And I've added in a little cut chart that you can get and I'll leave a link down below. So if you want to print this out, uh, you have it available. Basically, this is going to help you to size the proper cutting, to uh, cutting tip or cutting nozzle with whatever thickness of steel that you're going to be working with. Today we're going to be using the OTT tip, which is the third one up, and we're going to be cutting on quarter inch steel. So according to our chart, we're going to set that at 25 PSI for the oxygen and 5 PSI for the acetylene. One thing of note, when you're opening up the oxygen valve, make sure you open it up 100% all the way. It's just the way the valve is designed uh, that will make it will properly seal if you open it up all the way. And we're going to set our PSI to 25. Now, again, make double sure that you keep that oxygen valve open. It's just the way the valve is made. Uh, it seats properly if it's all the way open. That is not the case with the acetylene, which we're going to just open up about a half a turn. And another thing with these regulators, stay out of the front of them whenever you're turning these on, because if you do have a faulty regulator, it can have the potential to blow out and cause some serious injury. Now with the cutting torch, there's several different valves. The, uh, the two lower valves control your oxygen and acetylene input. The center one is your uh, preheat oxygen and then your your uh, handle is going to give you your cutting oxygen. So with the lower oxygen valve we can leave that one all the way open with the cutting torch attached to it and we'll just open up the acetylene and when you first fire it off you're going to notice it has a very black soot. So what you want to do is you want to continue to open up the acetylene after it's lit until that black goes away and you get more of a light gray smoke. And that's when you know that you've got the proper amount of acetylene uh, introduced into the torch. Then at that point, you can turn on your mixing valve or your preheat valve. And as you do, you're going to notice that there's going to be a very uh, bright blue flame in the center. That's called the feather. What we want to do is we want to continue to open up that oxygen until that feather comes all the way back to the tip. Now, in this case, this picture here shows you what happens when you are pressing on your cutting uh, valve or the handle and that flame jumps out. We're not trying to achieve that. What we're trying to achieve is when you hit the valve that you get those little blue flames right there at the end and then you're going to be ready to start cutting. And consequently, you're going to, uh, when you're cutting, you want the very tip of those little blue flames to be right at the steel or just above it. And that's where you get uh, the best cutting performance out of the torch. Now to begin the cut process, what you want to do is you're going to preheat the steel until it turns molten. And you're going to want to remember to keep the torch uh, high enough where the tips of those little blue flames are right at the steel. And it's a little difficult to show on camera because of the brightness of the torch, but you'll be able to tell as soon as that steel turns molten. And once it does, then you're ready to hit the oxygen lever and begin your cut process. From there, it's just a nice steady motion. Uh, you just don't want to outrun the preheat of the torch, which in the, in the example here, I'll show you, I actually did that. It's pretty easy to correct though. Uh, just back off of it, reset, and continue on with the cut.
at the end of the day, cutting with a cutting torch is really all about hand-eye coordination. And so if you possess that, then you have the ability to cut with a torch. Now, the, the cutting tip chart that I've included is not set in stone, but it's it's pretty accurate, so, especially if, if you're just learning to, to start cutting with a torch. Uh, this little guide hopefully will help you get started. A lot of it is just going to have to learn through experience. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib and a little intro into oxygen acetylene cutting. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next one.